The Great Pyramid remains to me uh, an abiding mystery, which despite probably a hundred or more visits to the Great Pyramid and being inside it and spending the night in it and exploring every passage and every chamber, including the relieving, so-called relieving chambers above the King's Chamber, I still can't figure it out. I don't, I don't understand how it was possible to do this. <laughs> and, and then the, the time span which Egyptology gives us, because it, Egyptology is, is fixed on the idea that the Great Pyramid is a tomb and only a tomb. And then it was built in about 20 years. And 23 years. Yeah. Because if it's the tomb of Khufu, then it had to be built in 23 years because that was his reign. Right. Uh, he would start, in theory, building it at the beginning of his reign, and, and it's finished by the, by the end of his reign. That's 23 years. Uh, and in, in the broader span, if you look at the Fourth Dynasty pyramids, and even go back to the, to the end of the Third Dynasty, the Pyramid of Zosa, the, the, the Step Pyramid, you find that this is a sudden emergence of incredible skills which lasts for about a hundred years and then it goes away it stops it, the pyramids that follow the great pyramid of giza the three pyramids on the giza plateau the pyramids that follow them the fifth dynasty pyramids are really poor they're very very poor quality workmanship they're falling to pieces you can hardly recognize from the outside that they're a pyramid at all when you get inside you do find wonderful chambers and you do find what you don't find in any of the great pyramids which is huge numbers of hieroglyphs mm. uh, and and uh, accounts of the person who was supposedly buried in that pyramid. what do you think of christopher dunn's work christopher dunn came on the podcast yeah. and he explained his theory that he thinks the Great Pyramid of Giza was some sort of a power plant. I think it's a theory which deserves to be taken seriously along yeah. with other theories as to what it is. But one thing I know for sure is that the theory that it was just a tomb and nothing else is bust. That is not a satisfactory theory anymore. So we should be open to a number of possibilities. And Chris comes to this from a background of machine tool making. Uh, he's a very precise guy. He's an engineer. He understands this kind of thing. And when he looks at particularly the at Saqqara, you have this thing called the Serapium, which is an underground labyrinth. Uh, and it's got wide corridors through it, and then off each side are rooms. And in each room are these gigantic basalt boxes, which appear to have held the corpses of bulls. They're, 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 they're like sarcophagi for human beings, but they're on an enormous, gigantic scale. Uh, weighing hundreds of tons and cut out of the hardest possible rock, precisely engineered. Everything is exact. 